Puffy Pamela here. I started ironing my hair and then I got tired halfway through and I said, I don't wanna do this anymore. <laughs> so, we're just gonna put this on. Would you guys be my friend if you invited me to the movies and I showed up like this? This is so cute. I think Revlon sent it to me. It gives me Matilda vibes. Kind of. <laughs> it gives me Matilda at the spa vibes. So no at Christmas time. Oh no, what a wild sent that to me. It's the tag. <laughs> So today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I've got my coffee, I've got my makeup, and I want to do my Noche Buena look. This is what I'm going to be rocking on uh, Christmas Eve. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays. I still think this look is perfect for like the cooler winter months. So I hope you stick around. There are a couple things in this video that I want to test out for the first time. Like I've never tried the Too Faced Better Than Sex Foreplay Mascara Primer. And Revlon just sent me a bunch of new lipsticks. I want to test one out. But the majority of this stuff are things I've really been loving tried and true. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna test out the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Camo Drops. I don't know why that's so difficult to say for me. This has SPF 35 and it's supposed to neutralize the redness in your skin and just ignite the skin's glow according to the packaging. It starts off looking white and as you blend it in, the little beads break and then it turns into like a tinted skin tony product, you know, like one of those. And I think I really like it. Normally I would just leave this on and go like this, but since this is my Noche Buena look, I am going to make it a slightly, slightly more glam. I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. This is a go-to for me whenever I want my makeup to last all day. Flawless, super lightweight, but covers, and yet good for my dry skin. I really like it. I know the classic double wear is like the foundation. When I first started on YouTube, everyone was wearing Estee Lauder double wear. That was like the foundation. I can just imagine the amount of money Estee Lauder was making just off people buying the double wear foundation. And for my dry skin, it just did not work for me, but the sheer version is so good. Loving the Dominique Cosmetics concealer. It's full coverage, also lightweight. quickly took the Anastasia Sultry palette and I took this shade right here and I put it all over my lid in the crease and on my lower lash line just to set the concealer basically and so that it wouldn't crease and to like put down a base color you know no matter what look I do I have to put down like a mid-tone brown in my crease. If you're using the Disco Fox palette you can totally do that for this look and just take later days all over your lid, or one of the other matte browns depending on your skin tone, but I'm just using the Sultry palette. We're gonna switch things up today. Normally I would go in with like my Tower 28 cream bronzer or my NARS cream bronzer, but today, dude, I'm constantly traveling now that like I keep my brushes in my little light slacker bag. <laughs> but I'm gonna be using the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in Light Medium. Because honestly for me, Whenever I'm going to like a fiesta, hanging out with family, doing things with a lot of people in person, very cozy, huggable moments. I don't like to go too glam. For me, less is more because people are just like so up close and stuff. And I don't want my makeup to look too heavy. I mean, who gives a shit, honestly? I just don't like to personally go too heavy on my Noche Buenas. Now, New Year's Eve. That's a different story. Oh my God, do you guys want to see a New Year's Eve makeup look? Because I really, Really want to do like a fun deep royal blue. I just bought this blue eyeshadow from Pat McGrath I bought it during her Black Friday sale. She had some good deals on her website and I want to use it for New Year's Eve It's such a pretty blue shade and I want to like center my entire look around that eyeshadow So let me know if you want like a tutorial get ready with me I'll film it. For blush, I'm taking the Merit Persimmon Flush Balm. I've actually never tried this shade, so I'm very excited. It looks very Christmassy, delicious, toasty. I just wanted a red with a bit of a brown undertone. So I thought this would be perfect. I 
love that color. It's such a dewy blush, which is stunning. I love it. But I'm going to take a little bit of some powder. This is my Kosa's Airy Cloud Set Powder that I have broken like three times. <laughs> and I'm just going to set underneath the eyes to just kind of like mattify that area. Okay, I'm going to take this really dark brown in the palette and run it on my lash line just to create kind of like a smoky liner. Not like a full-on liner, just a little touch to create some depth depth right there on the lash line. This is such a good little traveling palette if you're into cooler tones. I mean, it does have this one warm shade, which is honestly the one I use the most, but I love these two colors. I use them all the time. And this shade is really pretty, so is this one. Honestly, these two are the ones I don't use that much because they're so cool. It's like a gray and a silver, but this palette is super versatile. I like it. Okay, so I got a PR box the other day and it came with a bunch of new Revlon lipsticks and their new Colorstay Multi-Player Liquid Glide Eye Pencils. So I'm gonna try the black one. It looks really cool. It has like this flat liner brush on one side and I was swatching it on the back of my hand and the formula seems like glidey and slippy. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I don't know how that happened. I'll get that. <laughs> Okay, interesting. I like it. That's so easy. That's very beginner, just friendly, you know? And I have very shaky coffee hands. Okay, obviously I don't know how it wears, but usually the color stay stuff lasts a pretty long time. So, stamp on approval for now. My lips are so chapped. I love the way this little nude sticks. Hydropeptide lip butter smells so good. Okay, so this is the part where we put a little pizzazz and sparkle and Christmas magic into our eyes. Because right now it's just an everyday eye look, you know? So I'm gonna take this $5 million eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath that I bought when it first came out and uh, it hurt my soul to do so. So this is the Mothership 6 palette and it looks like this. I'm just using it for this magical shade right here. You want something that is going to be very, very sparkly, very shimmery, like a fine diamond shimmer, but something that doesn't have a base. Like we don't want like a champagne base. We don't want an eyeshadow. We just want a sparkle, a clear diamond sparkle. You can use that Fenty highlighter that was like sparkly and like white silvery diamond. That would be great. Or just any like clear, Christmassy glitter. You could even honestly use Copacabana or Super Freak from my palette, but that one doesn't have like a clear base. There is like either a golden or like a pink to those shimmers. This is just like straight shimmer, you know? Almost leaning on like the silver side. That's what's gonna give it like the Christmas vibe, but not full on silver, okay? So I'm honestly just gonna tap my finger into that eyeshadow, just a little tippity tap, and then add that to my lid. And I always forget to do my eyes first. I don't know what's wrong with me. But with the warmth of my fingers, I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm gonna focus it in the center of the lid, but then work my fingers like this, like windshield wiper motions. So it can kind of like blend out. I love that. It's so simple, but I promise you, like in certain lighting in your abuela sala, it's very pretty. I'm gonna take the light champagne shade in the Soul Tree palette and highlight my inner corners. I think I wanna add a little bit more blush. Just to the apples of the cheeks. Okay, curling my lashes, it's a must. Okay, let's test out this Too Faced Better Than Sex 4 Play 
enhanced and lengthening lifting and thickening mascara. This primer is apparently a black one. Usually they're like white, but this one goes on black. Honestly, you could use this like by itself. Okay, it's a very dry type of formula. I'm gonna go over it with the Clinique High Impact Hi-Fi Mascara. Wow, look at this. That's good. I feel like my lashes look so long. I like this combo. I'm gonna go in with a little more bronzer just to add a little bit more of like a tan glow. This is the Melt Glazed Skin Finishing Sheer Powder in Tan. And it's actually not a bronzer. It's just kind of like a finishing powder, but this shade works as a bronzer for me and I like the formula. I'm gonna take the J Cat Holy Addiction Pro Defined Lip Liner in the shade Plum and I'm going to overdraw the lips and just outline with this, just on the outline. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Lip Sculpt in Red from Refai and I'm going to add this on top. I didn't wanna go in with just this one because it was a little bit too deep, but this one is a little bit too bright, so I'm mixing them. Okay, just rubbing that in to blend it out. And now I'm gonna take the Revlon lipstick in Rumberry. This is like a really pretty warm brown. It's very deep, almost has a little bit of a plum undertone and I'm just going to lightly dab that on the lips. I'm trying to create kind of like a cherry Coca-Cola lip. <laughs> cherry mocha is like my favorite color right now. I love the color that I created. I had never used this lipstick. It's so pretty. And I bet like fully on, it's really nice. <laughs> now I'm going in with my favorite freaking lip product at the moment, guys. This is Holiday Dreams. This is Winter Dreams. I love this shade so much. I already really liked the Fruit Fetish lip oils from Milani, but this new one that they came out for the holidays, Stunning, gorgeous. This one is Cranberry Current and it has the most gorgeous shimmer to it. It still is that really gorgeous cherry mocha type of color that I'm really obsessed with right now, but it has a gorgeous shimmer and I love it. it smells really good. Oh my God, it has this like slight sparkle to it that you can't really tell on camera, but up close. Okay, that's it. This is going to be my Noche Buena look. I'm gonna wear like a little dark green, little like sweater dress. Hopefully it's kind of cold. It's Miami, you never know. Cause I'm not, I'm gonna sweat my ass off. Porter is losing his mind because someone's trying to deliver a package. So. God forbid the UPS man does his job. Okay, the key to having your makeup last all Noche Buena though. Setting spray. The Cali Ray Sunproof Setting Spray is my current favorite, it's the best. My makeup will be on all night, mamacita. Okay guys, so uh, that's it. That completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I know it's super simple, but I just wanted to show you guys what I plan to do on the 24th, and I've really been liking a lot of these products, and I really wanted to test this eyelash primer, and I really freaking like it. But yeah, I just wanted to sit down and do my makeup with you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. But that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.